Hello, everyone. First up, synchronicity. It's 2.22 p.m. on Polar Tum 2 day. That's the first synchronicity. <laughs> so that's the kind of thing uh, you can watch for all the time. 1.11, 11.11, you know, that, that kind of thing means that you're not alone. You're being watched over and all that kind of stuff. But I have so many synchronicities happening um, in my daily life and in my office. I thought I'd give you just what, what I call a little matrix update. So, for instance, the most startling one. Um, well, first up, I get people's birthdays when I do intake for my patients. I always have their birthdays. And without saying anything, I immediately dial them up into the matrix. So I dial up their um Zolkin birthday so that I know what I'm dealing with because I've been doing this for 30 years. So it's important for you to have an app and for you to know people's birthdays and they can think, oh, she just wants to know my birthdays. It'd be nice, you know. They don't have to know exactly what you're up to, which is synchronicity. Um, or if they're open-minded, you can say something. Anyway, you got their birthday. Once you have their birthday, you... Once you have their birthday, you can dial them up into the matrix. So I have this really cute older couple who are patients of mine. They were in car accidents. That whole thing was synchronous just in and of itself, just listening to them tell their story. But I got their birthdays and I dialed them each up yesterday. They are exact analogs. Now, before I found out that they were exact analogs, Skywalker and Roe Bridger, um, I could hardly do Reiki on one of them because their energy was just, he would, they were inseparable. He was sitting in the room while his wife was getting treatment, manual therapy and Reiki. And it was driving me nuts. It's like, I can't deal with the energy of both of you. So it's like I'm trying to do my own connection to the patient. And with his very strong analog energy crossing over, it was like a big wave of energy coming in the space. That was the very first thing that happened. And I thought, okay, I got to take care of this. So how am I going to do this without offending them? So I simply said, um, I need one of you to wait outside in the waiting room while I'm working on the other one. So that I can, so that I can focus. This is what I put it. It was fine. It was fine. It changed the energy completely. But then I dialed them up and thought, what's going on here with the energy? So if you, if you feel either tense energy or reciprocal energy, really intense reciprocal energy or any kind of strange waveform with somebody, it would be a very good idea to dial them up into the Maya Oracle and see where they stand with you. If you notice it between two people, two different people, know their two birthdays and look it up. And it'd just be good information for you also. Um, of these folks, I can believe it. It was eight World Bridger and eight Skywalker, and they are married, they're mates. I'm personally 13 Skywalker. I cannot imagine being made with a 13 World Bridger. It's too intense. It's very intense to be in the same room with your analog because you're mirrors of each other, you're exact mirrors of each other. I almost think it's twin flame. Stop. Okay. Here's another one. Patient after patient in the last week are four Blue Eagle. Like, what is this Jupiter stuff? What is this Jupiter? So whenever you have, like, say you have people who come into your door to visit you or see you or at work that are the same tribe all the time, that's major synchronicity. And the meaning of that is you're dealing with karma. You're dealing with some past life karma. So uh, I had a patient yesterday I don't even know if I should say this she burned a book <laughs> and 
it made her feel uncomfortable. The book made her feel very uncomfortable. And today, my patient, who is a bibliophile, meaning she loves books, she's yellow for seed. This person who burned the book was blue for eagle. They're analogs. They're exact analogs. Come to find out their next treatment, they're going to be crossing each other. The one patient's going to go out the door, the other one's going to come in the door. And we talk extensively about, and she's reading a book, extensively about how religion has really affected people's sense of security, sense of self, sense of identity, sense of ego. So we talked and it stimulated a tremendous lesson for both of us in the difference between the lower self and the higher self. Um, Eckhart Tolle talks a lot about identity and illuminates the differences between having a healthy identity and loving yourself and getting, being absolutely egotistical and narcissistic and obsessed with your own stuff. So it's a journey. And, you know, I said to my patient who's for yellow seed, you know, I try not to ever be hard on people. So even if they're on their journey and doing weird stuff like burning books, even if they're doing stuff like that, I don't judge them. I just find it really fascinating. Like, how does that get rid of the issue? Like, so if you know the content of the book, even if you burn it, it's not going to get rid of it. It's already in your mind. So, um, the conversations you have with people. So like, say you live with someone. Okay. So what I was referring to was business when you're in your office, in your personal life, when you start to have an issue or a conversation with a family member, whether it's a child or your mate or a sister or best friend or something, the topic of a conversation, if that starts to get on the same issue as the day, like say you read my blog or you have the app and you look at what the day is about. If it's the same subject, you can know there's some lesson there. Now, if the person you're talking to, you're, you're disagreeing with or hitting up against, you're going to want to pull back. Just, just pull back from the conflict and listen because you already know you don't agree. So that can get a little tricky, but I mean, that's just another level. These things go in cycles. And of course, as the day ends, you know, the issues change too, but everything is a learning lesson and everything is karma. Everything is being evoked on a timeline, a time strand, I should say. Keep in mind, this is not time. This is not time. This is time. Okay. That's just an introduction. I have so many examples of this. I don't know how long I've talked. Eight minutes already. Peace.